Hi kids! Today we will learn estimates for our addition and subtraction sums using rounding off techniques we learned. So let's get started. We have to add 35 and 61. We have to make a quick estimate rather than actually adding these numbers. For that, we will round off 61 and 35 to the nearest 10 and then add them orally to get the estimate. For rounding off numbers to the nearest 10, we see the ones digit. If it's less than 5, we round the number down to the previous 10. That is 60 in this case. And if the ones place digit is 5 or more, we round the number up to the next 10, that is 70 in this case. Here, the ones place digit is 1, that is, it's less than 5. So, round the whole number to the previous 10, that is 60. Ones place digit in the other number is 5. So we will round it up to the next. And the next 10 here would be 40. So 35 will be rounded up to 40. Adding the rounded off figures 60 and 40, we will get 100. So our estimate for adding 61 and 35 is 100. If you actually add 61 and 35, you get 96. So our estimate is very close to the actual sum. So today, we will be practicing making estimates only. Let's take another example. We have to add 345 and 572. We will be making a quick estimate rather than actually adding these numbers by rounding off these numbers to the nearest 100. For rounding off the numbers to the nearest 100, we see the tens digit. If it's less than 5, we round it down. And if it's greater than equal to 5, we round it up to the next 100. Here, 4 is less than 5, so round the hundreds digit to previous 100 on the number line. The previous 100 in case of 345 is 300, so 345 will be rounded down to 300. In the next number, the 10 digit is 7. It is more than 5. So this number will be rounded up to the next 100. And next 100 in case of 572 is 600. So 572 will be rounded up to 600. Now, our rounded off figures are 300 and 600. Adding them is quite easy. 300 plus 600 gives 900. So our estimate for adding 345 and 572 is 900. Let's take another example. We have to add 1,200 and 3,689. We have to make a quick estimate rather than actually adding these numbers by rounding off these numbers to the nearest 1,000. For rounding off numbers to the nearest 1,000, we see the hundreds digit. If it's less than 5, we round it down. That is the previous 1,000. And if it's greater than equal to 5, we round it up, that is, to the next 1,000. Here, 2 is less than 5. So round the thousands digit to the previous thousand on the number line. So we will be rounding off it to 1,000. 6 is greater than 5. So round the thousands digit to the next thousand, that is, 
the 4,000. So our rounded off numbers are 1,000 and 4,000. Adding them is easy. Adding 1,000 and 4,000, we get 5,000. So estimate for adding 1,200 and 3,689 is 5,000. Now, let's take another example. We have to subtract 42 from 689. We have to make a quick estimate rather than actually subtracting these numbers. Let's round off these numbers to the nearest 10 to make a quick estimate. For rounding off numbers to the nearest 10, we see the ones digit. If it's less than 5, we round it down, that is, to the previous 10. If it's 5 or above, we round it up, that is, to the next 10. 9 is greater than 5, so round it up to the next 10, that is, to the next 10. So round it to 690. 2 is less than 5, so round its tens digit to the previous 10 on the number line. So round it down to 40. So rounded off figures to the nearest 10 are 690 and 40. Subtracting them is simpler. 690 minus 40 will be 650. So the estimate for subtracting 42 from 689 is 650. Now go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects.